seeds you planted are coming up high and tall. All the seeds you planted are coming up after all. I'm Marvin and I have different, we, we come to music differently. I'm much more sort of, I have a, 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 a a more sophisticated sensibility harmonically. But Marvin has the thing that Woody Guthrie has, that Bob Dylan has, that Leonard Cohen has, that just uh, Hank Williams, John Lennon at, at his simplest. The thing that just you, you get to the emotional core. And, and that was absolutely transformative for me as a young kid when I first became friends with Marvin when I was 15 years old at Fairfax High School. And I used to cut class with my friend Dave Sawyers. We would cut class, go buy records, and Marvin was the clerk working at Aaron's Records. And you could hear the bell, the school bell ring um, from, from, uh, from the record store. And we were, listening, you know, we were in the store, flipping through the, 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 uh, the, the bins, and you hear the, the, the school bell ring, and my friend Dave says, okay, we gotta go back to class. And I said, no, we can't. We're in the middle of the Who Live at Leeds. And this voice comes from behind the counter saying, there's somebody who likes good records. That person was Marvin. So from that point, which would have been 1978, from that point, we've literally forged a lifelong friendship. It goes beyond friendship. It goes beyond musical interest. It's, it's, it's a soul connection that is as deep as, as family. It is family to me. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad it's gone. I'm, I'm really glad that Willie and I are doing this as the Holy Brothers and that we are bringing this to the world. That's, I'm, I'm not as worried or concerned about what others aren't bringing. My energy goes into what we are bringing. Glad it's gone away. Thank you. <laughs>